computative algebra and algebraic geometry. Uh, this is the 14th edition of this meeting, and we are celebrating 20 years of ALGA. And in order to, to tell you a little bit about the, the, the history of ALGA, uh, I have the pleasure to, to introduce Aaron Simis, who is going to remind us a little, a little bit about this uh, 20 years history. Thank you very much. I don't know why I was chosen to do this. I'm sure there are other people that can do this much better. Where are they? Yves Lecon, please raise your hand. I'm just pointing out the old guys. Carl Otto is not here. Abram is here, of course. Israel is not here. So you see, these people are, they don't want to explain anything. So uh, I just have 20 minutes, and it would be much easier to tell you in Portuguese. <laughs> so the idea, or I'm not going to show any slides to you so you can relax, sit back and relax. But I'm just going to show one slide. So here's the history of uh, ALGA. So what's the history? The thing started, the whole idea, which was much more global than ALGA, was something called PRONEX, which was the program of, it's hard to translate to English, nucleus. <laughs> so uh, the idea was that they would pick up the best groups or germs of groups at that time and finance them directly instead of letting these people go through CNPq, CAPES, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So this was an idea back in 1995 that was raised by CNPq, CAPES, and who else? SBPC, which is the Society for Progress of Science, and some other institutions. Uh, at that time, the president of the, the, the minister of science technology was Dr. Israel Vargas, a chemist. Uh, so it was a brilliant idea. Now, uh, right at the beginning, there was this discussion. Do we want to finance groups which are already solidly crystallized and established? Or do we want to finance group, not groups, but germs of groups? This is why they call it nucleus, kernels, or whatever is the English translation. So this was a big discussion at that time. But anyway, they tried to move the program on. So it was a very harsh competition. And <clears throat> I was member of the first discussion about this in the MET. So they divided into groups. And one of the groups to discuss the, the, this matter was the mathematical group, which has a mix inside. People from e ecology was also, were also there, so it was kind of complicated. <coughs> so uh, this was the first competition back in 95. And then they decided that they could finance starting 96 the chosen, the so chosen nucleus or groups, okay? So at that time, I, I was not in IMPA at that time. I was moving from Federal of Bahia to Federal Pernambuco, back, sort of going back. And uh, so we, we had this conversation between us. I remember very well uh, Israel. Israel was a little pessimistic. <laughs> about having a group like this. And Carl Otto Stur was very optimistic. I think Eve was a little bit uh, pessimistic, too. <laughs> he doesn't remember. I asked him to help me with the memory. He said he doesn't remember anything. That's an excuse. He remembers well. And I guess Arnaud at that time was also pretty active. Uh, of course, Eduard was just a baby. He had finished his 
what was it, 94? I mean, he had this uninteresting papers in the Invenciones, but who cares? Anyway, so this was the situation we discussed. At the end, we decided that, well, we are not a group, because it was not a group at that time. But we could start a kernel of a group. So that was the idea. So after many discussion, we agreed on this. And of course, there, was, there were some discussions about the name of the group. <laughs> some people wanted it to start with algebraic geometry instead of algebra. <laughs> But it didn't, it didn't make any sense for the, you know, the acronym didn't catch. So <laughs> algebra has to be first. And then someone said, why not ALGA? I mean, what the hell? Why, what is ALGA? Well, at least it's something. So we started. So. Bravo. OK. Now, let me tell you a little bit. Let me sit, because the old age requires. said I was going to show you a slide. Oops, that's the wrong one. Ah, sorry. In fact, this is the reason I went to São Carlos. Because they, they have lots of Shorin. The Daniel is not here, so I can say this in public. Anyway, so here is, the, if, if anyone is interested in, in knowing a little bit more, I'm sorry it is in Portuguese. Ah, not this, yeah. Here. So here I have some explanation. This is in Portuguese who, for someone that's interested to know about the beginnings and so on. The only reason I have this over here is this is horrible to read. I think one has to show what's the format to, to read. Wood wrap? OK. Now, here is the quantitative. This is the main thing. They, they contracted 94 millions for all groups. Can you read that? And this was back in 95 to be implemented in 96, OK? I made some rough computation with inflation. It would be something like around 400 million today, which is a good amount. Not anymore. It will not exist anymore. <laughs> that was just once. Even then, they could not apply immediately these uh, this contracts. So eventually, it was diminished to the number of groups diminished and diminished and diminished. So finally, I think they could uh, contract about 62 million or something like this at that time. And in the next year, just 32 million, half of it. So it was a wonderful idea. But the money was short. OK, then after some years, 2003, they decided that this would be shared between the foundations, the state foundations and St. PQ. So this is a new era, different financing. OK, here, I, I have a little uh, some some. Yeah, so the first, the f what are the issues to comment on? So the first one, I wrote here so I don't forget. The first one is this political discussion, whether it should finance groups or germs of groups. But of course, it was very hard to counter the, the, the well-established groups in biology and chemistry and physics. So all the groups came in, in without being kernels of groups. So I think what distinguished our group from the others is that we immediately decided that the money should not be spent individually, or not, at least not totally <laughs> spent individually. And I know that some other groups, they decided they should just divide the money between the participants. We decided, no, we sh shall. We we decided to have these meetings. And in fact, 
the name of the meeting became, the name of the group became the name of the meeting. So it's hard to, to distinguish. So it's, today is the name of the meeting. So I think this was very important to distinguish between just giving money to people and we d really wanted to construct something. Okay, now, maybe I should mention this. The proportion between commutative algebra and algebraic geometry. I made some computation here, and at that time, oh, I forgot the numbers. Uh -huh. No, I know. It's <laughs> I think it was the, the proportion of commutative algebra was was always low compared to algebraic geometry, but not that low at that time. So it made sense to have the group, you know, joint group. Uh, I think it was about 32% my computation of participation of talks in meetings and so on. Okay. Now today, even if I am the most optimistic possible, it's about 14% the participation of commutative algebra. So this proves that algebraic geometry is a winner. And the reason is clear. It's much easier than commutative algebra. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, man. OK, so here are the meetings. I just, I could only count 13 meetings. Why is that? Could not find the 13, including this one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's go, if you want to know, here are the list of the meetings. The first one was in IMPA. And if I have just one minute more, I can show you the, the program of the first meeting. I think it's interesting. And look at the scientific committee at the end. As I said, uh, so you see, you, you may not be, you may not agree to call it a group. For scientific meeting. Abramo was getting frozen in polar cru curves <laughs> at that time, roughly. Arnaldo was just getting dizzy with his towers. Carl Otto was entangled in virus stress points in characteristic P. Israel, he's not here. He likes these quotations, right? So, d'après Abiancar, enumerate the enumerators of enumerative geometry. So he was doing that. Remember, this was the eliminate the eliminators of elimination theory. This was Abiancar against Grothendieck. Eve was differentiating rings. I guess he still does that. And myself, since I didn't understand inter intersection theory, I tried to understand <laughs> what are the algebras that are used there. Until today, I don't understand it very well. And of course, Edward, I'm not saying because he was just a baby. OK, very interesting, because the first one was in IMPA. I'm showing to you the program. The second one was in Maragogi. But actually, this means in Recife, right? We just moved to Maragogi because it's a wonderful beach. And this, some people here are just not shaking because they remember how nice it was. I mean the meeting, not Maragogi. And then, of course, everything moved to, <laughs> to the neighborhood of the south, namely Impa. So most of them were in Impa. But there was still another one in Recife, 2004. Okay, enough of this information. Ah, sorry, huh? Maresia. But was it called Alga or something else? Did, ah, yeah, I missed that one. But I remember there was something in Maresia. Ah, okay. Good. Good, good. It's nice to have these young people that remembers everything. Oh, sorry. Where is the program? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to copy the program. So the first one was uh, we had Jean-Pierre Serre as one of the speakers. He spoke twice. This was the first Alga. 
Anybody remembers this? Eve? You remember this? <laughs> Sarah, you remember? I remember that some people were just frozen because Sarah was in the audience. I was lucky. In my talk, he didn't come. <laughs> he made very hard questions. I saw some people just trembling on their feet. It was nice having Jean-Pierre said talking twice. And uh, sorry that I didn't copy there, but my time is most up anyway. So it was nice to see, in that program, it's nice to see what people were doing at that time. And what sort of people used to come here? What? What? I did? You're not talking about Shorin, no? Ah, yeah, okay. Good. Can you see it? There is a way to make it. How do you do it to make it? Telashe, okay. Ah, this is worse. Sorry, could not copy it. Okay, here it goes. So you see, there was a lot of algebra. I mean, sort of mixed, commutative algebra, field theory. So you see, one, two, three, and so on. But of course, uh, this is algebra again. <laughs> poor, poor Fernando, he's not here? Fernando Kukirman, he's supposed to come. Not here. He was, he's here? Fernando? No. no. Fernando Kukerman was just after Ser. <laughs> so Ser was still in the audience. <laughs> so poor Fernando. I didn't name it. Anyway, so uh, now this is interesting. When I copy, I don't see it. Who is Doug Somerville? Does anybody remember? Or you remember? The only Doug from Sweden that I used to know in the early 50s was Dag Hamark Jold. He was the prime minister of Sweden. <laughs> so you see, it, it was very colorful at that time, you know, all these people. And, and look, Sergio Santa Cruz was talking about his thesis. And then he stopped doing mathematics. So I think it was a very good idea to have this group. And I want to finalize with this. You see, even Ze Felipe Follock was here. Amilka, you are here talking about Galois modules. And Abram, of course, he made a small interval between the <laughs> polar curves and some other. Do you remember this? This is the paper with Baliko. Now you remember. OK. And this is Paulo Machado. He was my student. He's now in Minas Gerais. OK. And Elizabeth is not here anymore. Ivan was still in Porto Alegre. So this, this could be considered a little bit like commutative algebra. Because I'm doing it a little bit, so it is commutative. OK. I think this is it. If you have any questions about ALGA, ask Eduardo. <laughs> OK, thank you.